The surgical treatment for a herniated disc is removing the herniated disc, and it's called microdiscectomy. The ectomy means removal, the micro means it's done through a microscope, and the disc is the herniated disc. When the di outer part cracks, the inner part comes out. That inner part that comes out can be seen through a microscope in surgery, and we just literally grab that inner part and remove it. Surgery like that takes about 30 to 45 minutes. It's very safe, and it's extraordinarily effective. Removing a herniated disc is one of the oldest described surgeries. And so when it started out, we didn't have microscopes and we didn't have all these other endoscopes and all these great tools that we have today. So when they were done originally, the doctors would make an incision in your back. They would strip off all the muscle. They would then go down to the bone, drill out a huge amount of bone so that you could get enough light and vision to be able to see the very small herniated disc. So that was called discectomy. And that is truly the bad old days. What we do now is we make a tiny incision in your back, usually about half an inch or at most an inch long. We put a tube down under x-ray guidance that spreads the muscles instead of cutting them so they'll be able to heal back. And then looking down a microscope through the tube, we only remove a few millimeters of bone and the soft tissue necessary to remove the herniated disc fragment. Microdiscectomy refers to removing it through a microscope. That's what we call minimal access surgery.